roughly one in four pregnancies end in miscarriage. And for many couples, the explanation of why this miscarriage happened is unknown. Unfortunately, for some of them, these miscarriages are recurrent and happen again and again. We now believe that sometimes the cause of recurrent miscarriage is actually a problem with the sperm DNA, its genetic material. My name is Dr. Jackson Kirkman Brown, and I work in the Tommy Centre at the University of Birmingham. If you want to ask any questions, you can just put them underneath this Facebook Live chat, and I'll come back to you in future with some answers. For couples who take a pregnancy test, they're always going to be really excited to have that pregnancy there. But unfortunately, from that time, around 25% of them will have a miscarriage, and about 85% of those miscarriages happen in the first three months, what we call the first trimester. If you're miscarrying, you really want to know an explanation. Why has this happened to us? Why has this happened to me? And very often, in the past, people have blamed this on the female. They've thought, dad got his sperm there, he got the lady pregnant, that's his job done, and it must be some problem with her womb or her general health that makes her lose the baby. In actual fact, our research here in Birmingham has identified that at least 40% of the time in recurrent miscarriage, this is probably due to dad's sperm. And more specifically, it's due to the DNA quality in dad's sperm. We all get half our genetic material from our genetic father. And if there are problems with that DNA that's delivered to the egg, it can go on to cause miscarriage. One of the things many people ask me is, if I'm worried about my sperm DNA, is there anything I can do? Certainly having a healthy lifestyle will help with this, not smoking, not drinking excessive alcohol. There are other things. If you're trying for a child, it's better to be having intercourse at least every other day. So have a regular ejaculate frequency. Those fresher sperm are healthier. Don't have long periods of abstinence when trying for a child. And finally, if you're worried about this, it may be that some gym supplements aren't helpful for sperm DNA quality. So if you're taking things like protein shakes, protein bars at the gym, perhaps avoid these whilst you're trying for a child and use more natural sources of protein. That's not going to be the answer for everybody. And so a second strand of our research here is looking at a trial. In our trial, we're going to give men with poor sperm DNA quality a very specific supplement that we've formulated here in Birmingham. And we're looking to see whether this can help improve the quality of DNA in their sperm and in turn go on to mean that their partners don't miscarry in future. We're really excited about this work. It could be something that will help people avoid 40% of miscarriages. And so we look forward to keeping you updated on it in the future. I hope you found this brief Facebook Live with me really useful. As I said at the start, if you've got any questions, please just post them underneath the video and we'll come back to you with some answers in a future Facebook Live. Thank you.